Hello dear students, here in today's class we are going to discuss about the functions of marketing and this is very important question for your examination. So be serious for the particular topic. So this is the format of the functions of marketing which start from market information and ends with customer support so these are the 10 functions of marketing let us discuss all these points in details so the first one market information okay we can call this function gathering and analyzing market information one of the important function of marketer is to gather and analyze market information. This is necessary to identify the needs of the customers and take various decisions for the successful marketing of the products and services. This is important for making an analysis of the valuable opportunities and threats as well as strengths and weaknesses of the organization and help in deciding what opportunities can best be purchased by it. So students, under this function, the marketer identifying the needs, wants and demands of the customers and then analyzing the information to arrive at various decisions for the successful marketing of our firm's products and services. So the first and foremost work of a marketer in the marketing process is to collect the information based on the products and services. And the second function of marketing is market planning. Market planning aims at achieving a firm's marketing objectives. These objectives may involve increasing market presence, dominate the market or increase market shares. So students, another important activity or area of work of a marketer is to develop appropriate marketing plans so that the marketing objectives of the organization can be achieved and the next one is exchange function the core functions of marketing that is a selling and buying compresses the exchange function it is concerned with the prospective buyers to actually complete the purchase of a product it involves what to buy of what quality, how much from whom, when and what and what price. They ensure that a firm's offering are available in sufficient qualities to meet customer demands. The exchange function are sup supported by advertising, personal selling and sales promotion. So based on exchange that is selling and buying the marketing activities are involved and the next one product designing and development. So another important marketing activity or decision area related to a product designing and development. The design of the product contributes to, to making the product attractive to the target customer. A good design can improve performance of a product and also give it a competitive advantage in the market. So students, a product designing plays an important role in selling or a product selling. The company whose product is better and attractively designed sells more than the product of a company whose design, design happens to be weak and unattractive so it is very important to design uh, systematically the product for the more and more distribution in the market and the next one is a standardization and grading 
so standardize standardization refers to producing goods of a predetermined specifications which helps in achieving uniformity and consistency in the output standardization ensures the buyers the go that goods conform to the predetermined standards of quality price and packaging and reduces the need for inspection testing and evaluation of the products same grading is classification of goods in various groups based upon certain predetermined characteristics it involves the control standard of size weight etc grading helps in pricing decision also the higher quality goods and services attract higher prices grading is mostly used in case of agricultural products like food grains cotton tobacco apple mangoes etc so students here grading in the sense of classification of goods and services where the goods are going to divide based on the quality of the uh, of the particular goods so i'll take a example if i am a producer of apple i am going to grade or classify the particular apples on the basis of their size and quality process is called as a grading over here so students in today's class we discussed five functions of marketing and another five functions of marketing we are going to discuss in the next class so continuation of this class will be there based on the functions of marketing keep watching the videos and write down in the notebook thank you have a nice day